so here today here we will discuss about the next part of the sub second part of kingdom animalia invertebrates that is the second video so first video i will uh, i will given the link into the description box and you can check it out so here today we will discuss about the nematodes before previous video we had discussed about the phylum porifera and cnidaria so here is we will discuss about the uh, further so here is the nematode that is a round worm which that is come from the classification of pseudocilomere so it means pseudocilom are present that is the body cavity contain a pseudocilom and that phylum is ascalmanthes while here is the silomate which that is contain a silom is the into the body cavity and that silom work as a blood so here is the proterostome that is contain a blastopore become a blastopore become a in us so that is why so blastopore becomes mouth here proterostome but uh, proterostome and deuterostome is the opposite so this blastopore containing becomes a mouth it's divided into the during embryo embryological stage so this phylum is contain three phylum for example this three phylum is basically three phylum contain a uh, phylum mollusca phylum annelida and phylum arthropoda so one by one we will discuss about that just getting the concept about the uh, phylum mollusca so phylum mollusca is contain a snail and sludge that is a shell spirally coiled at present in the exoskeletal and that is the exoskeleton while the annelida which contain a cuticle and so here the annelida contain earth form which that is the slivery uh, mucus layer are present in the upper side and the diffusion of oxygen directly uh, from the uh, uh, circulatory system but here the phylum mollusca contain also cephalopoda cephalopoda is um, made up of uh, octopus which that contain acromatophores in the upper skin and that's the uh, luciferin protein also pro contain and mel melanocytes so here's the head which that is contain a central nervous system while the mollusca is the snail and sludge is also contain it and here's the short tentacle contain a chemo receptor for example the uh, it can be detect the chemo receptor while small eye at the tip of the a uh, rod like structure are present two smaller eyes which that is uh, elongate and this elongate or shorten so the arthropod contain a uh, insect so let's talk about the insect we will in this video so please uh, watch this video till the end to understand the whole mechanism and their zoological aspects so first of all we will discuss about the pseudocilomates uh ascalmanthes pseudocilomate which that's uh, pseudocilom are present is the basically uh false body cavity so unisexual is unisexual and ovarian testes are present and round worm it is also known and parasite it depend to the host while here is the round body and endoparasite it is live in our digestive system as well and here is the triploblastic triploblastic mean the three germinal layer ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and uh, during the embryonic embryonic stage while is the blastocele is the blastula form when blastula will be formed that's the blastocele will be formed that is known as blast uh, body cavity so here is the elongated worm with pointed and nematodes form so remember that the blastocele is the important character which produce the pseudocilomeres that is the precursor of blood which that is the further evolutionary process to arise the hemolymph and hemoglobin which contain a protein so here is the endoparasite for example as uh, ascaris leomericoid and antirobius vermicularis that is the next uh, video we will discuss uh, all about this thing so here is the cross section which that show inside is the digestive system which that is the less developed as compared to the earthworm or other uh, invertebrate while here is the intestine which that is contain endo uh, derm while here is the uterus which contain a uh, ovary and testes because it is hermaphrodite while here is the nerve cord are present which that is attached with the muscle to contract so it means the longitudinal muscle and uh, that is the present uh, as well as um, 
lateral muscle while the circular muscle is the lack of circular muscle so here the pseudocele are present and is the ov duct and intestine that is the excretory duct are present which they are using for the excretion and that is basically we can say that here is the um, hypodermis and dodermis and that is all so so it's contain vacuolated cell filled with a protein rich fluid which that is produce the hydrostatic pressure so that is play important role as a hydrostatic skeleton for example water filled body cavity which that's contain a hydrostatic pressure to use as a hydrostatic skeleton with the help of the water so as the anterior and without any special organ so that distinct head are present and oxygen is used to produce a carbon dioxide from the skin so that's important and here is a microscopic milli, uh, micrometer to a microscopic to a macroscopic one meter long and that's contain a tube like structure which that is muscular uh, longitudinal muscle and interlay uh, uh, lateral muscle and not circular muscle are present so the undulating waves are uh, for the muscle contraction and the digestive system is contained here is the uh, subtube and that's contain a tube like digestive system that is not well developed because it's depend to the host to absorb the food so here is the excretory system we are also understand that is here is the basically uh, undulating waves which that produce for example and here is the excretory pore on ventral surface so that is the one interconnection is look like that that is a long thread like tube which that is excrete from the absorption of nitrogen waste to excretory pore on ventral surface while undulating waves for locomotion undulating waves for locomotion so that's locomotion is like a undulating waves here we will discuss about due to the undulating waves why because it is not circular muscle so the ring like muscle is used for the movement just like a earthworm for muscle contraction to relaxation longitude and um, uh, circular muscle antagonistically to move is not present here in this way analida contain but here is not so here is the no circular muscle and that's bending is dorso ventrally so that is the dorso lateral muscle are present and ventral ventro lateral muscle are present which that is produced undulating waves which cause the movement of movement of this animal movement of this um, uh, nematode so this nematode means the pointed end uh, both side so here is the if we will talk about the nervous system that's nervous system contain here is the sensory uh, sensory papillae are present and here is the pharynx string of nerves are present and this later dorsal ventral are the nerves which that is a lip at anterior contain a four uh, sensory papillae so this is the nervous system which that's all contain and sense length of nerve is here so this nerve is surrounded and that is the central nervous system is uh, basically not developed in this way but the slightly developing going toward the development of the central nervous system but anyhow you can say that is the nervous system in many animals can contain so here i am discussing about the analyta so here is the silomate first of all we will discuss about next is the silomate so that was the pseudocilomate and here we will discuss about the silomate. Silomate contain a phylum analyta, phylum mollusca and uh, phylum arthropoda. So that is here is we will discuss about the phylum analyta. So this phylum analyta is known also known as the segmented worm. So the metamerically segmented segmented worm is also known and sexual reproduction is, as well as the hermaphrodite some nares and sexes separate some species for example nares and the trochophore larva which that are present and translucent extra uh, trochophore for larva and external uh, fertilization occur so here is the anus and translucent trochophore larva it means the light can pass and uh, inside move while here is the triploblastic triploblastic means three germinal layer while the bilateral symmetry are present it means the two mirror image will be formed when cut the uh, body with two equal half 
so is the elementary canal having a uh, having a distinct mouth at end is known as a prostomium while in parasite species poor digestive system will be formed due to the absorption of the host nutrients for here the true silome and that is also known as the silometa while here the circular and longitudinal muscle is present in the phylum annelida like a earth form so that means that its movement is the undul uh, not undulating movement while antagonistically muscle contraction with the circular and longitudinal so here is a structure which that showing the embryonic stage which contain a mesoderm is here which that is surrounded by the endoderm uh, endoderm and ectoderm attached with the uh, attached with the basically attachment uh, with the parietal layer and uh, visceral layer which that is parietal layer and visceral layer while the stilom are present mesoderm ectoderm and endoderm and here is the example is a nares earthworm so here nares is contain a parapodia so that's parapodia is not present uh, basically another species and that is the basically nares which contain parapodia is contain a ct like structure while here is the earthworm we will discuss about with the detail to understand the whole classification of this phylum so this is the earthworm cross section when we cut um here is not i am cutting the right way because the cutting shows that but here we can say that the cross section so here is a contain a uh, basically important here is the very uh, easy to understand is here which there is a blood vessel so the circulatory system is well de developed and this auricle is present for mus uh, for the contraction of blood a contraction of veins is the heart like structure so the metamerically segmented it means the different uh, segment contain a uh, one auricle and here is the oxygen uh, carbon dioxide is diffused directly to absorb oxygen and excrete the carbon dioxide while here is the collecting tubule which that is bladder like structure and this bladder like structure is a nephrostome which that's open into the next segment while when absorb this uh, nephrostome this nitrogen waste which move into next segment of the uh, nephrostome and next segment which that's absorb the uh, the nitrogen waste etc and that's nephro nephridio pore are present so that is the meta nephridia because every segment contain a nephridia so this nephridia is the basically here is the mucus silomic fluid and here is the digestive intestine which that is the central digestive intestine while the collecting tubule which that collect the nitrogen waste will be reabsorbed into the blood vessel and this throw into back in the into the segment where that which be absorb the nitrogen waste and salt so that is the reabsorption will be occur due to the vein right and here is the cutaneous uh ct or ct we can say or ct or parapodia for locomotion so that is also known as the parapodia which that is used for the movement and surrounded by the whole whole uh, organism while here this you can say that here is the skin which contain a pore and this pore is used for the excretion of mucus while here is you can say this is a skin which that contain a mucus gland cell are present inside and that is the cuticle upside upper side and the sensory receptor cells are present which are used for the sense of the light and move toward the light is known as the chemo uh, phototactic while that toward the movement due to the chemical is known as a chemotactic movement and that is the movement is the positive or negative depending on the situation where here is the fiber are present and here is the epithelial cell is present which they are used for, for to produce as a well mucus and that is used the protection while here is the photoreceptor which they receive the light and that means when receiving of the light to move the toward the light so important to know that we are also have the photoreceptor in our eye so that means the evolutionary process is beginning uh, from here so that's important to know that we are the most adaptive species is known as the homo sapien while here is the uh, basically circular and longitudinal muscle which that is used for the movement by the antagonistic movement or muscle contraction and relaxation with the 
differently for example muscle contraction of the longitudinal muscle and the relaxation of the circular muscle is the important character for the movement of it so this movement we are not discussing about in this video but next video i can uh, i can be able to explain because we i am not understanding i have not knowledge about that so next video we will discuss about the movement of the earth form so here is the polykit polykita uh, is known as the nares and here is the oligokita and hirodini oligokita means the basically earth form and uh, hirodina means the leech so that is the classification so here is we have done that is the basically we have done the silomate which contain a proterostome blastopore becomes mouth so that is the three the annelida arthropoda and mollusca so but here we had not understood right no uh, arthropoda no we will understand the arthropod so the arthropod means arthro means that the jointed the pod means the leg or feet so that means the jointed legs are present the jointed legs are present and exoskeleton is contained a chitin so here we will discuss about the whole detail so first of all let's begin to understand the joint join jointed legs as well as the more species uh, than any phylum so that is the more species as compared to another phylum and segmented body jointed appendages thin and elastic cuticle at joints and that we uh, that's allowed movement by common origin with annelids it means the common origin is annelid uh, and because both have segmented body and uh, because both have segmented body and cuticle in um, inners cuticle is inners and that means the arthropods found everywhere water fresh and marine in air and land so it means a huge quality and there's a dispersion of the huge number of these phylum uh, in the form of species so that's insect is important you know insect provides the silk as well as honey in the form of honey bee and silk worm so that is why so this is the insect diagram which that is showing the wings and there is the three part is the head and thorax and abdomen abdomen is here and uh, orange color and red color shows that the wing while the middle region is known as the thorax due to that thoracic region while is the head is the here and antenna contain using for the vibration as well as the chemical uh, using the chemical chemical uh, is known as a chemotactive movement toward the chemical or away from the chemical negative or positive chemotactive movement so here is the compound eye which contain compound eye is the meaning of there is the sub unit of the lens which that is the composition to uh, to use that means a more adaptation to see the prey etc due to the amount of the uh, number of the uh, lens is more as compared to we are the uh, by uh, by nuclear uh, by nu nu coal nuclear uh, uh, vision why here is the multiple side to vision so that is why the hexagonal head doctor so here is the important thing is that the so here is the slum is not present but hemocele as developed it is uh, next it, it is produced silom and communicates with uh, blood vascular system while the open circulatory system here is the alimentary canal has two opening anus and mouth food is small plant and animal so important thing is that that is the hemolymph is present in is like a blood and that is hemocyanin or some uh, animal contain and hemocyanin which that is copper containing blood instead of the iron just like a hemoglobin in our body so here is the antenna used for the detection of vibration chemotactic movement toward or away from the uh, uh, source and is the um, labial part which used for the cutting and thoracic uh, thoracic spiracle which that is thoracic and abdominal spiracle which that is used for the respiration and here is the femur and that's leg and exoskeleton made up of exoskeleton and there's flexibility are present where the joint is occur and that's cutin is uh, cutin uh, cuticle is formed in the cutin while a uh, 
chitin it is made up of chitin while here is the digestive system which that is made up of different region for example uh, th uh, prothorax metathorax as well as that is the contain a uh, esophagus like structure and that is the going into for forward it is known as a mid gut where the metathorax and thorax are present is known as a mid gut while mid gut is here and that's mid gut is surrounded by uh, the um, basically um, uh, malpighian tubule which are used for the ex excretion of the nitrogenous phase so this excretory uh, excretory finger like projection are present is the mic mic microscopic and this uh, cur produce current to absorb this produce current to absorb the new uh, waste while here is the spiracles this spiracle is the many more and that's go into the carbon di carbon dioxide will be released outside where oxygen will move inside from the spiracle by the by the creation of partial pressure in our in the insect body so here is the tissue will be bathed by the open circulatory system openly that it means this air will bath to the tissue uh, due to the diffusion into the hemolymph so that's hemolymph will be attached is here and next we will also understand so here is the intestine which contain a uh, basically intestine contain a hind gut and uh, mid gut and fore gut that is a uh, made up open into the anus from the mouth and the circus are present in the low lower which that is used for the reproduction so here is the malpighian tubule which that's absorb the uh, which that are present in the hemolymph and absorb the nitrogenous waste etc etc and that much malpighian tubule will be ultimately open into the digestive system and that's collectively excrete that material that is the phase and ovipositor and rectum is present in the end of the digestive tract the gastrointestinal tract and is the compound eyes that means compound i means the many subunit of the hexagonal uh, hexagonal lens which that is absorb the light and this absorption of light go into the central nervous system to uh, uh, integration and uh, visualize the prey or something so here the active and swift move meant swim crawling fly depends you know everywhere the uh, insect are present so the fly and crawling are swimming as well as the active or passive flight we will discuss in later uh, in next video so that means but uh, that's why it is advanced quality of species and here is the heart which that is openly circulate so here is the heart which that is pump the blood into the tissue a uh, bath the tissue by the deoxygenation and oxygenation so this circulatory system again and into the heart and that's pump again to bath the tissue and this uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen is come from the spiracle which that is the uh, windpipe like structure while that is bath the tissue and oxygen absorb carbon dioxide will be move into the tissue and reabsorb uh, it means the um, transpire outside and inside the oxygen now we will discuss about the important character is one is the important is molting that is why it's known as the uh, periodically shedding the periodically shedding of exoskeleton is known as the ectasis for growth and development so that's why growth and development is possible due to the exoskeleton is too hard and that is why the sh shedding of the periodically is important for growth so uh, during the shedding that is a vulnerable of the insect and that's harmful from the predator so that means here is the egg to larva nymph and nymph is the different type during the developmental stage is known as the hemimetabolous insect because the different type of nymph and ultimately adult will be formed so these hemimetabolous uh, uh metamorphosis this metamorphosis is known as the hemimetabolous metamorphosis means the changing of the animal in the same species during the developmental stages and growth phase so the uh, important is the hemimetabolous is mean the larva will convert into the nymph with a different shape while holometabolous is mean 
that is the whole organism is come from the egg to larva and that's larva convert into the pupa and that's not go into the nymph for example it is not uh, produce or something so that means a nymph is the important character of different uh, shape but uh, in the hollow metabolus mean the complete uh, metamorphosis and this after the completing of the metamorphosis it can be reproduced and something while on the other hand hemi metabolus which that is actively can be adult uh, before the adult it can also reproduce while here is a no next last topic we will understand that's a nervous system so this nervous system contain a different segment for example sub esophageal ganglion this sub esophageal ganglion is here and here is the thoracic ganglion this thoracic ganglion is here and here is a ventral nerve cord and that segmental nerves this segmental nerves is here and that is the abdominal segment is used and the central nervous system is well developed because the advanced and more adaptation due to the evolutionary process in the species so important thing is that that is the class is the advanced so here we will discuss about the three class arachnids uh, it is known as the cephalothorax cephalothorax means the uh, cephalo mean head and thorax mean the uh, thorax which that just contain thorax not abdomen so that is why it is known as the spider is the major example why as myripoda and uh, mealy uh, uh, mealy uh, centipede and millipede and insect class insecta is used as the insect grasshopper while crustacea is a crab etc which that is the classes so i hope you make sense and we had covered the basically invertebrates but the some topic is left behind why because it's too much video it's long so the next is the echinodermata as well as uh, another we will